What's up guys, Nick here with another video. Uh, you could probably guess by the title. Today I'm going to show you how to route the Sprint Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. I have the S6 Edge because I think it's really pretty. Um, so the first thing you need to make sure you do is go ahead and download all the software. I will put a link to this web page slash tutorial in the description. Uh, you don't have to follow this tutorial if you're following along with my video. I recommend you either read through the whole tutorial or watch my entire video um, before you just go on and attempt it. Following the steps as you go can get kind of confusing and it can kind of mess you up. So step one, uh, go ahead and download Odin PC software, download the unikernel for your device. So if you have the Sprint Galaxy S6, click on this link. If you have the S6 Edge, click on this link. Pretty simple. Uh, don't use the old kernel as it even states in the tutorial on this web page. Uh, it says backup necessary stuff. I didn't have anything get wiped when I installed this, but I can't guarantee that you won't, so maybe back up your stuff. Uh, download the Sprint Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge drivers. <clears throat> um, my phone automatically configured the drivers when I plugged it in originally. But since I was following this tutorial, I went ahead and downloaded these drivers and I had absolutely no trouble. So I would recommend doing that same thing. Disable the reactivation lock. Um, if you have this feature, I actually did not have this feature. Um, so I, I skipped it, but uh, you go into settings and you can disable it or you can go online to your Samsung account and disable it. Uh, enable OEM unlocking. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, and I apologize for not using screen recording software. Uh, I know it's not the best quality on the computer screen, but hopefully it will get the job done. So to do this, you first have to enable developer options like I have here. You click on About Device if you've never done this before. Um, you go to Build Number, I believe. Yeah, and you tap it a bunch of times and it will eventually say three steps, two steps, and one step and then it'll say you are now a developer. For me it says developer mode already turned on because I did that. Uh, then you go into developer options, enable them, it may have some security prompt. Then you go down to OEM unlocking and you enable it and it's that easy. So that's enabled. Um, then, uh, oh another little quick trick is uh, when you download Odin it's a compressed zip folder I extracted it to a file or a folder on my desktop Odin up there and then the uh, the kernel I actually put in the root folder of the Odin folder so that it, it makes it easier for Odin to see that file later when you need it uh, the next step is to put your phone into download mode that's easy you just hold the power off button click power off power off again. I don't know why it makes you confirm it so many times. It vibrates. Wait about 10 seconds and then I don't know if I can do this while recording. It took me two hands last time. But uh, you hold the power button, the volume down button, and the home button. So the way to make sure you get this is to hold the power button and the volume or the, uh, the home button and the volume down button and then hold the power button and it pops up. Oh, I, what did I do? Oh, I just restored it. But you can see I've already, I've already done it. But uh, what you do once you get into download mode is uh, open up Odin, plug your phone in. Up here there will be a little dialog that says added and then uh, go over to your options. Auto reboot is checked. F reset time is checked. Nothing else is checked. Absolutely nothing else. Do not NAND erase all because that will destroy your phone. Do not repartition because that will destroy your phone. Do not flash lock. Do not T-flash. Don't do any of that. Uh, go back over to the log. Then you check AP and then you click AP and you can see where I put the file in earlier. You click open and then you click start and it's probably going to tell me yeah, nothing happened because nothing was connected. But if all goes well, it will be that quick still, and uh, your phone will just immediately restart, come back into your home screen. I really need to add that index finger to the fingerprint. Okay. Go to your apps. I'm doing this through the uh, camera, so bear with me here. Um, they're super... Super, super user 
is here. Uh, no, I'm not going to follow you. But um, so you can see I've granted access to Root Checker. You want to download Root Checker from the Android market. It's easy. Just search for Root Checker. And then I will search for Root Checker on here. No, I don't need my photos. Um, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, maybe I uninstalled it. Or no, I bet it's at the end because this likes to reorganize my apps. Okay, and then you just verify root and you are rooted and it is literally that easy. Um, you're now able to install custom firmware. Uh, you can install a custom recovery. You can put a bunch of mods like exposed framework. You can change the volume mixers. You can flash custom ROMs. You can tweak your CPU settings using set CPU or some other app. You can enable root file system access and change a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can completely break your phone or you can improve your phone. You can install ad blocking software, which I love because I really just, I can't stand ads. I don't mind them if they're the little banners, but I can't stand them popping up in my notification menu or my notification shade. I can't stand them popping up on the screen. It's just, it's absurd. So I just block them and uh, buy the apps that I like and want to support the developer. So um, that is pretty much it. If you guys have questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all my other funny gaming videos and how-to videos and videos of me trying to do sports that I'm just not very good at. Thanks for watching, guys.